Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is going to be our first video lesson, our first video review of verbs. Uh, for those of you that are just joining, my name is Mr. Hubner, and last week with my uh, ELA classes, we were doing a quick review of the different types of verbs, and we got to the two main ones, the two that everybody knows. First is action verbs. An action verb is a part of speech that tells what the subject of the sentence is doing. And when we're learning verbs, this tends to be one of the first ones that we learn about. Uh, the second group that we talked about were called what's called linking verbs. And these linking verbs, we know, connect ideas together. Uh, they don't express an action. They describe the subject's state of being, like the kitten is playful, or Mr. Hubner is a teacher, or teachers are underpaid, things like that. It's states of being. The last one that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and the last one that we wanted to go over, are what's called modal auxiliary verbs. Those are some very, very big words, but what those really means, modal auxiliary verbs modify the main verb in a sentence. So think of it like you've got a verb and then you've got this little extra like helper verb. Uh, and that's actually one of the things that they are referred to as helping verbs. And I'm gonna bring up my list here. This is not a complete list, but these are the ones that are used the most. Can, could, may, might, must, should, would, and all the way at the bottom, will. So can, can you, like uh, could, may, might, must, should, would, and the little guy will. Modal auxiliary verbs. Uh, so let's, bre let's break that down a little bit. Modal, it's just another word, it means mood. So think of these as mood, and then auxiliary means to help or to support, like the auxiliary staff, like auxiliary things are things that help or support the main structure. So a modal auxiliary verb is a mood helper or a mood supporter. So they, they help verbs express a particular mood or a particular time. So these modal auxiliary verbs are really what can also be known as helping verbs, but since we are no longer in first and second grade, we start to use more adult, more complex terminology. So these helping verbs are modal auxiliary, mood helpers. So an example of can in a sentence, I can play guitar. Play is our main word, our main verb. It's describing, it's the action that that person is doing. I play the guitar, but that by putting that word can in, it helps to modify, it helps uh, to uh, helps the word play. So it, it shows that I no longer, like I'm not just doing it right now. I have that ability to play the guitar. Play is the word, play is the main verb, can is the helper. So in could, Pete could help you with your homework. Help is the main verb, but could shows that he has the ability to help. Uh, not that Pete is currently helping with your homework, but that he can, he has that ability. He is able to. What about may? Luis may walk to school. That shows that Luis does have the ability to walk. Walk is our main verb, but he might do it. He might not do it. He has that ability. If he uses it, awesome. If he doesn't, uh, probably not so great. Right, with might. I might ride my bike. I might drive my car. I might go to McDonald's tonight. Those are all, ride in this sentence is the main verb again. And might is helping, it is describing, saying that this person has the ability to whether or not he is going to use it. Must, you must study tonight. And I'm not just saying that because it's one of the modal auxiliary verbs, but you must. You have the ability to, and you need to use that ability if you are going to, like, if you are going want to pass this class. The main verb is study. Must is the helper. It's uh, showing, it's 
supporting the mood of study. It's giving it importance, saying that not just you study tonight, you must study tonight. It helps to show the importance, just like should. Ken should tie his shoe. Ken has the ability to tie his shoe because Ken is a grown man. Um, but if he chooses not to tie his shoe, there's a chance that he could also fall down the steps. Would. One would sit at the bus stop. One, and then sit is our main verb, but if one does or one does not, is up to him. I miss Juan. He was a good student. I liked him. I still do. And last but not least, the play will begin soon. Begin in this sense is our main verb. The play, the play has the ability to begin. The begin is the action. Will begin means that it's showing, it's helping out in the time frame. So modal auxiliary, they help with the move, but they also help show time. So that is it for this first video. So this is again, a review of modal auxiliary verbs, which are helping verbs. They help to emphasize the main verb. So in your homework tonight, you're gonna to be asked to pick out in a sentence, pick out sentences, which verb is the main verb, which one is the modal auxiliary. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.